Good morning. It's kind of a rainy day here in Michigan this ninth day of September. It's beginning to look like fall outside. I would be happy for it to stay summer for just a little while longer. But oh well. Let's make some cards. I've been talking to you about one sheet wonders. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one sheet of six by six cardstock and we're going to put it on four different cards. I really love this technique. You can get cards out in a matter of minutes. Love it, love it, love it. So let's get started. What you're going to need for this project, you're going to need one piece of six by six paper. Ta da! You're going to need four pieces of cardstock. I've chosen Mick Macron, and this is a full sheet. So you'll just need two sheets, full sheets of cardstock. You're going to cut it at five and a half, so you have eight, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. You'll need four of those. Those are your card bases. You'll need a contrasting color that matches your background and your stamps. And I got these out of a half of sheet of cardstock. I cut it in half so it was four and a quarter by 11, and I got the layering pieces that I needed out of that. You're going to need four pieces of neutral cardstock cut, that's not it. <laughs> four by five and a quarter and that will go on the inside of your card or if you prefer you can do three and three quarters by five whichever floats your boat okay um, of course you're going to need um, your paper trimmer your adhesive and a stamp set of choice today I'm using the whale and of course I don't have it right at my hand. Here it is. We're using the Whale Done stamp set and the paper that goes with it. Whale Done. I love this set and I love this paper that goes with it. So that's what we're going to need. And this is my layout for my one sheet wonder. I'm hoping that you can see it okay. We're, we're going to take our sheet and we're going to cut it at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So our first cut will be at one and a half. I'm sorry, that's one and a half by five and a quarter. She can read, ladies and gentlemen, she can read. There we go, a little more coffee, that'll help. And then our next cut will be, we'll cut three inches. So let me show you how I've done this. I've got one here that I've already cut out um, and it's ready to go. So let me show you on this one how to do it. Let me get my paper trimmer. Paper trimmer. Okay. Here's my handy dandy paper trimmer. Okay. Like I said, here's our our, our map of how we're going to cut it. So my first cut has to be at one and a half. So I have my paper. I have my paper cutter. I'm going to cut it at one and a half. One and a quarter, one and a half. I'm going to turn it around so it'll be right side up for you. One and a half. Okay, by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. I see, maybe if I put it up at this end you can see. Well, five and a quarter is down here. Five and one quarter. Okay. So there's our one and a half by five and a quarter. This little piece, you can either save it or toss it or let the dog chew it, whatever. Okay. Now our next cut needs to be at three. OK. 
and by three. So you need a square, that's three by three. Okay, that's gonna go there. Now this piece, we're gonna cut into three by one. So we're just gonna make two little cuts here. We're gonna cut one inch up, and we're gonna cut one inch off which leaves us with one inch for the bottom. Okay, this last piece, that goes this way. We're gonna cut into one and a half. It's one and a half wide. Now we just have to cut it at one and a half. One and one half is right here. There's one. One and a half here. And one and a half here. Okay. Alright, I have pre-cut one already. Because I wanted to use these whales. So here we go. So our first card, we have our card base, and we're gonna take this piece and we're just going to get our adhesive, which is around here somewhere hiding from me. Here it is. Now I'm not going to, you don't have to watch me stamp the sentiments on all of these because I know you know how to do that. I'm just showing you today how to make your cards. So this one is all ready to add a sentiment. I, on this one, got a little fancy and used the embossing folder and gave it a little texture. Okay, I wanted to show you, maybe I'll show you at the end where the whales come from. Okay, our next card is the three by three piece. And what I did was I put, I cut a piece that is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to put that on there. This is a pretty peacock. And then we need a piece that is one by three and three quarters to put there. And I can do that later. That will go on this card. So you could make up a bunch of these cards in a matter of minutes. Save them, and then when the need arise, you could put happy birthday, you could put happy retirement. Thanks a ton. So there we have, that's card number two. And this is my card number two. So. This piece is one by four and a quarter. Card number three. We need a piece that is I think I got these a little backwards, but that's okay. This piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. No, nope, this one's three and a half by three and a half because I wanted a little extra. So there's our card number three. Boop. So let's just there we go. 
we'll just put this right here. Hopefully I've got the, I kept them in order. I did. Okay. So that's going to go there. And I like to put the bottom one on next. And then the one in the middle, you can kind of, there we go. So that is card number three. Oh, that's crooked. There we go. So, there we go. That will put on here. So this is card number three, and this is card number three. Whoops, let's put it down so you can see it. I don't know why my camera wants to go out of focus. There we go. And last but not least, we have card number four. And I have a piece that is Three and a quarter by three and a quarter or three and a half by three and a half whatever you like and these we're just going to put on our card this way however you want to do it i think i should have maybe cut this one three and a half by three and a half but we don't have a whole lot of room i'm only gonna have like an eighth of an inch around there that's all right Basically, I just wanted to show you how to get it cut and get it on your paper. If you like any of the items I'm showing you today, you can get them at my store, www.bobhopper.stampinup.net. I just pinned that down there. Okay, and let's put this guy go this way however which way you want these they're going to be a little mixed up all right so now let's put and we'll put that there and then I can add my greeting at the bottom there's okay put camera focus 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 we're out of focus okay here's card number four so much fun. In the designer series paper that comes with that, we have whales. And what's fun about that is the whales match the punch. As soon as I find the punch, I'll show you. Here he is. He's hiding. He's in the deep sea waters here. And then so that I could get my whales cut out, I kind of cut zigzaggy there around so that you could get your whales. And you may, you may want to use the whales for something else, these little whales. So we want to just come in and just cut around these guys. Now you might, you'll be able to hand cut those whales and use them on another project. But this is the punch. We are going to sacrifice these little whales. So what we'll do is we'll just put him right in here. We will line him up. And there we have a whale. And put him on with dimensionals. Isn't he cute? Or if you wanted, you could stamp him and punch him out. Or, if you wanted to, in our pack of paper, the whale paper, if you didn't want a whale, this paper is so much fun. Come on. This is called I don't have it in here. Okay. Um, this is the paper. If you wanted to, you could cut out Sea turtles.
you could cut out a sea turtle and put on any of your cards. So that, my friends, is a one sheet wonder. Let me move things. Ah. So let me move these cards out. So you're going to make your first cut at one and a half, and then cut it off at five and a quarter. Your next cut is going to be at three inches, and you're going to cut that in half at three inches. Then this piece you're going to cut at one inch, one inch, and, and then this will be last. And this is card number one, two, three, four, card number four. You've got one and a half inch strip, just cut it at one and a half. And that, my friends, is the One Sheet Wonder. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something. Hopefully my camera wasn't too wobbly. And um, I've enjoyed seeing you today. And um, have, have a happy September. Happy stamping. Oh, one more little thing. If you do go online and choose to do some shopping, the host code for the month of September is 9, K is in kite, E is in egg, G is in girl, 4, 2, N is in nice, K is in kite. This is good until September 30th. If all of, a bunch of you order and the total number of orders comes to $150 or more, I will draw for a mystery hostess. And I'll put all your names in a hat, and whose ever name I pull will get all the host rewards. And always, when you shop online with me, you get a little thank you card for shopping online with a little something something in it. Not much, just a little something something. If your order is $40 or more, you get what I call reward points. When you collect 10 reward points, I give you a gift certificate to spend with me for $40. You, of course, will pay the shipping and handling and tax, but $40 free. Yay! Um, so that's basically it for today. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Ta-ta for now.